Hello everyone who has somehow happened across who whatever. Just whatever. Hello everyone who has uh who happened to come across this video just out of nowhere on YouTube. YouTube tube. Um I'm just showing you my lone survivor encampment just randomly because I wanted to. Uh so first of all we have got the frag mines and where are they? Powder charges out the front. These were required mm -hmm. legitimately. So my character coughs. Idiot. He's thirsty. Why am I doing that? And then second of all, we've got the sandbags for you know just just. I know that's kind of a flaw. I mean, anyone could just jump over, but NPCs in this game don't have pathfinding, so they can't do that. Just for um, guarding the entrance with my lucky revolver. It's literally called lucky. How amazing is that? As we turn around, we've got um, a trunk or a container, as it's called, to keep the weapons and gear in. This is from the Spetsnaz mod. That is from a backpack mod, which I cannot call the name. And these are from the AKs and M4s mod, which is a very good mod. It is, I mean, the modelling, textures, are really, really good. Only flaws, are, well, not flaws, but only complaints I'd have to say were, are without this suppressor on. Um, it would be very, very loud. And the second complaint, I mean, these aren't very big things, but if they were fixed, I guess you could say, then it would be a f truly flawless mod. It would be bloody amazing. Um, and the fire rate, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not really sure what the fire rate is exactly in real life, but to me, this is a bit too fast, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, here's my lone survivor with his uh, Spetsnaz armor on and his weapon. Anyway, um, got a little chair here, just so he can rest his weary legs, whatever. He's got um, a bed, where he can rest his weary head. Campfire, which here you can turn off and turn on and off. But for some reason, I mean, portable camp stuff mod, truly amazing mod. Uh, you can do, you can make whatever you want with it. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. I made this entire place with it. But it would be cool if you could have the little interface where you can like cook stuff. Um, already seen that. AKs and M4s mod. You got M16, two at two, M16A2s and an M4, and a foot locker for like personal possessions. Got uh, canteens. That's the uh, pre-order exclusive, whatever it was. Or you can get it in the ultimate edition of Fallout New Vegas, Fort 13 canteen. And that is from the bottle that water mod. You get canteens and stuff. And a fr refrigerator. I can speak English. I'm screwing this up so bad. For all your food and drink. Um, that is about it. Oh, wait, my bad. Last but not least, um, the exit. Portable camp stuff mod. I can take this away. So I can exit out the back. And then I can. When I come back in. Like I can, I'll close it up, go away, we'll do whatever, whatever I want to do, simply for roleplay reasons, not for any other reasons, because no one's going to come in and take anything. <coughs> Put it back, Y and E, what, whichever wall, I'll pick two, and there you go, it's back, no one can get in. And as daylight arises with the project, no not Project Nevada, even though I have that on, the Nevada skies, that's it. Um, as the sun comes up, the lone survivor looks out into the vast expanses of the wasteland, takes in a deep, 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 deep breath of that shitty irradiated air, looks over to the 188 trading post where he does his trading to buy his food and sell his spoils. He feels good about himself. Thank you, thank you everyone for watching. I might be uploading more videos of things that I make with mods. Obviously I'm going to put links in the description to the mods that I have mentioned in this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. Goodbye.